make those Let's Play videos. What's up guys? TJ here with another TJ tutorial video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos. All right, today I'm gonna show you how I make Let's Play videos. So you may have never seen a Let's Play video for me because I don't have them on this channel. I do have them on a separate channel and I will put a link to that channel uh, soon when I have more videos. Right now I don't have that many videos on that uh, page, but I will link those real, real soon. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how I uh, make Let's Play videos or any kind of videos where you have a video inside of a video. Like if you have a video over here, I'm looking at my viewfinder right here. So when you put like a little bit of a video right here, or you may have, um, you know, um, just a silhouette of yourself in the corner or in this corner, or in this corner, or in this corner. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm also gonna show you my uh, computer settings. And this is gonna be a very free method when I say free, I mean, what is free really? So, it's not really free. I mean, the the screen video part is free. And, you know, the computer, you know, you're gonna have a computer if you're making Let's Play videos. Um, but there are gonna be a couple of different things that you may have to pay for, like video edit, editing software. I'm gonna use um, Adobe Premiere Pro for my video editing so if you don't have that you are gonna have to pay for that you know whatever and i think that's it so let's jump right into the video guys okay so i'm gonna show you all how i make these um my let's play videos so i do have a let's play video that i need to make but what i'm gonna do is i didn't record like myself playing it on this particular video but i'm gonna pull some a uh, video footage and just kind of simulate uh, what we're going to do. So the first thing we need to do is import our stuff. So let me let me get my stuff imported here. Uh, TJ's Let's Play. I'm actually gonna probably going to have to redo this, but all right, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to um, the first link in my description, which is going to be screencast Omatic. Actually, let me see if I can pull it up. Don't judge this photo. I was <laughs> doing that for another video. Uh, screen. All right, screencast Omatic.com. And this is actually a free service, but you can upgrade uh, to the paid version. I actually have the paid version. I think it, it's not, it's like $14 for the entire year. So, I mean, it's not really that much money. And for the free version, uh, you can only record 15 minutes. And if you have the paid version, you can record an unlimited amount. Of course, it's going to be limited to the amount of storage that you have on your uh, PC or computer or whatever. So what you want to do is you want to pull this up and I'm actually recording this screen video right here with it. So I can't really show you what the a um what the what the um interface looks like. So anyway, what'll pop up is a little thing in the corner. It'll say record and then it'll have like uh some different option settings and you can you can set it the you can set the recorder to record the computer sounds. And then you can also set it to record your microphone and it'll give you like a three, two, one and whatever screen that the, the little record thing is on this, the screen is going to record. Now you can set it to the active screen. So the active screen will be, you know, whatever you have pulled up. If you had this like smaller, it would only just get the small part of the screen or you can do the full screen and it will record everything on the whole entire screen. So that's the way that I made my uh, Let's Play videos. Some people may do it a little bit different. I've not had any uh, like lag or anything um, when I'm recording. So anyway, you go here, you get your screen recorder, you click on start recorder and it will start the recorder and you can record for 15 minutes if you choose to have the uh, free thing. So what you wanna do is you wanna start your recorder, then you'll start your game and it will record 
your game. Now, you can sit here and record your whole entire thing. When you get done with that, it's going to ask you, um, I hope you can see this screen. So, it'll ask you if you want to uh, create it. Let me see if it'll let me do it on this one. Yeah, so it'll pull up this screen right here. And you can, you have two options. Save as video file or upload to screencast o -Matic. So, most of the time, you're just going to go ahead and save your video file. Now, it will let you edit, I believe, some of this. You can add music. You can add uh, closed captions. Um, there's also another cool option if you have a paid version where you can type out a script so you can rem remind yourself to say things and do things as you're making your video. Uh, so when you save this video file, it does take take a while. Uh, if you have the paid version, you can make uh, like whenever you start uploading your file or you start saving your file, you can do it in the background and you can continue to make more uh, recordings. And it'll look actually, let me see if I can click off of this. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I just want to get rid of this. How do you get rid of this? Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Back to recording. So anyway, it'll do it up here. You see this published, blah, 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 blah. It'll do, it'll record or it'll save your videos up here and you can record new videos. So, and it organizes it with the date. So you can easily come back here and look at, you know, what you recorded. And I have mine go going to my external hard drive that way they're not saving onto my uh, PC and eating up all my storage plus I always I have one place where all my videos are stored to alright so once you do that you have your video recorded now you need to edit your video now if you want to you can use uh, I have a, a lapel mic that I record my audio sometimes sometimes if I'm recording uh, myself while I'm playing the game and I'm doing like commentary uh, I have my camera shooting towards me and I do have a shotgun mic and I just use the audio from this shotgun mic for my voiceover and then I have I don't have any lapel mic or anything hooked up to the computer and it will record the computer sounds on a separate file and you can um, edit the the sound levels of the computer audio versus the um, if you have a lapel mic on your you know your narration audio alright now let's jump into Premiere Pro so I've loaded in my and I don't want this video to take a hundred thousand days I've got that and then I've got my recording now, I'm gonna to have to redo this recording because for some reason I didn't lower my computer audio and I don't think that you can hear me very good on this video let's see now this may be a little laggy because I am recording and I'm uh, <laughs> uploading the video and I'm trying to edit this all at the same time. And Plus Pro uh, hates me. You see how the audio is kind of weird. Anyway, so this is my page. So normally what I do if I record myself doing uh, a Let's Play video, I will... Um, show myself first speaking and then I'll move that and I'm going to show you how to do it yeah maybe okay so this is actually not the, my commentary video so we're just going to imagine that this is my commentary video so don't listen to anything I say I'm going to actually lower the volume so you can't hear what's going on here uh, so the first thing you can notice that I, I do shoot behind a green screen. Now, if I'm playing my games, I don't have a green screen. But if you were to have a green screen, then you can't key that out very quickly and easily. Let me show you that ultra key. You'll drag and drop that onto your file. You click on it. You'll get your little dropper here. You see key color on your, under your ultra key. You click on that and you can take that out and... I will make a, a whole video about how to um, get rid of this back and make sure that your uh, background is clear, but we're not going to do it in this video. I'm just going to do it real quick, uh, and I'm not like great at doing this, to be honest. <laughs> I know how to do it, but it's not like the best uh, thing that I can do. Um, So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking out all the green background and I'm feathering 
the the edges so I kind of blend into the background and these you really just have to play with it depends on like your lighting it depends on if you have your green screen I do recommend if you have a green screen that you make sure uh, that you make sure that you light your green screen separately from yourself that way you won't cast the shadow so I have two soft box lights that hit my green screen behind me I have some depth between me and the um, the green screen and then I have a separate light that lights my face alright so as you can see um, here I guess so I'm gonna move this forward okay so you know I'm gonna do here all right so that's like an intro blah 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 let's just make make act like you made an intro here so what we'll do is you don't want your person to be like directly in the middle of the screen the whole time you probably want to move them to the either this side or that side this side or that side now if you don't want to do uh have a video of your commentary then you can completely skip this part all right so what you need to do is you need to click on your um, video file here and as you can see your cursor is on this point well also your cursor is on this point and what we want to do is I always put a keyframe or a um, yep yeah, a keyframe for each for position scale and opacity so you can edit those from this point on so what I like to do is I like to move forward a few frames Alright, so I moved forward quite a bit and I'm going to expand this out so we can see it a little bit better. Actually, I'm going to move forward just a little bit more. Alright, so we're going to move this down here on the right hand side. So what we'll do is we'll lower our scale. And the way that I did that, I just clicked it and clicked it and held it and, and drug it to the left. And that lowered that. Now you can also just click on it and lower the number with the... Uh, up and down arrow key so let's see let's move it this way and we'll move it down all right so now our video will move down now as you can see the top of my head is kind of cut off so you need to make sure that when you're recording with the green screen if you're going to be recording with a green screen and you are going to move it that you don't clip anything off of uh, your body so let's see the animation of that I'm gonna mute this so you can hear it <laughs> so just imagine yourself sitting here playing a game doing comedy games here on the side uh, with the transparent background you know, make yourself a little more transparent if you want to you can just toggle uh, the opacity see how I'm just like basically a ghost right now <laughs> um, or you can you know make it make it bold uh, right now you still can see through myself because of uh, my green screen I did it really quickly normally I clean it up where you can't see through myself unless you, you know I want you to so that's pretty much it with the let's plays I mean you know you record your video you um, record your commentary as you're playing the way that I do the syncing is as soon as I press record um, on my screen recorder you know, I sit down, I get everything ready, and then I press record on my camera, and that way everything is in sync. And you don't have to do a whole lot of editing trying to get it to uh, to sync up. Uh, so that's pretty much it, uh, guys. That's you know, that's the basics of having commentary on. As you can see, it has a nice animation. Is clear. You can sit here and talk, have your headphones on, be like one of those cool uh, <laughs> players. That's all I got for today, guys. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Yeah.